Are you thinking of getting a Samoyed puppy because they're just so cute and lovable? There are important things to know for sure about a Samoyed. And Yeti and I will talk about those things up next on Yeti's Place. To find the best tips and tricks for owning a Samoyed, be sure to check out our links down below, comment on our video, and subscribe and click that notification bell. This video today is brought to us by Bully Make. Mom, let's open the box. Let's open the box. Samoyeds are among the world's most beautiful dogs. Aside from that, how much do you really know about Samoyeds? Their size is an important factor to consider. They do get to be big dogs, and Yeti is actually smaller for a Samoyed. He is smaller and so much stronger than most of the Samoyeds that I've known in the past. Samoyeds do have undesirable traits. It's a bat. Look, you have a bat. You got a bat toy. Some of their undesirable traits include digging when they're bored, shredding, barking, non-stop barking, except for when we're filming YouTube. They have great stamina as well. They're not going to leave you alone which can be a good thing and it can also be a bad thing for when you want to be left alone and just chill out and relax. Your Sammy Ed won't let you do that. They don't like to listen to people commands because they're extremely stubborn and very, very smart. And look at this treat. This treat contains a Yeti. <laughs> look at Yeti, it's you on the treat. Isn't that special? It's a chicken and bacon square. He really wants this. So are they tradable? Well, that's debatable actually, because I have worked with Yeti so many times and I've worked with other Sammy Eds a lot to try to get them to listen to me. They listen to me for a moment if I have a treat and they do whatever they want for that treat. Like Yeti right now, he's being really good because I have treats in here. But most of the time, Yeti doesn't want to listen because he's a stubborn northern breed dog. Sweetie, I'm trying to get it open. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are big. Oh, he likes this. They are determined dogs. Yeti really likes his dog treats and his dog toys, and he is determined to get them from me. They like to accept their entire family as part of their pack. They're not aggressive. So if you want a guard dog, a Samoyed is not going to be a good fit for a guard dog. Samoyeds love to work and they work really hard. They love digging. So you can actually change that destructive behavior into a good behavior if you want to dig a garden. <laughs> Just put your bored Samoyed out in the yard and have them dig away. Then you'll have holes everywhere and you'll be able to plant the flowers in those holes. Samoyeds have quite the sense of humor. They're really funny dogs with such a lovable personality. They're demanding and independent. And Yeti is going to get this plump pumpkin flavor because this is October's Bully Make box. So it's in time for Halloween and the pumpkin season. Are they little pumpkins? No, they're not little pumpkins. Yeah, they're little pumpkins. Sit. Sammy Eds are gentle and dependable dogs who love everyone. Because Sammy Eds are hardworking dogs with a lot of stamina, it's important that you play with them a lot and they're great herding dogs. They enjoy vigorous outdoor activity. And oh my goodness, are they talkative. Except when we're filming YouTube. Then Yeti's a little bit more quiet, but otherwise he barks at me nonstop, asking me, Mom, let's go film YouTube. Mom, let's do this. Mom, let's do that. Mom, I want more treats. So Yeti, this is a tricky treat. It's a bully make tricky treat. Sammy Ed's love cold weather. The colder, the better. Now we're from the Northern United States of America. <laughs> Yeti, you're slobbering all over me. I'm trying to get it open. I'm trying to get it open, sweetie. The tricky treats are giant bones. So Sammy Ed's love, <laughs> love cold weather. The colder, the better because of this beautiful, big, thick, giant coat. But they also do okay in the hot weather if you have air conditioning. The double coat helps insulate them from those harsh outside temperatures. Of course, when it's really hot outside, you wanna make sure that your Sammy Ed stays inside with you in the comfortable air conditioning. If they're outside in the snow, you do wanna bring them in periodically because these dogs are indoor dogs. They're meant to be hanging out with their people. They're meant to be eating treats. 
They can be boisterous and quite dramatic if they're bored. Their energy level is really high and they require a lot of boisterous activity. They have a high activity level and they require a lot of vigorous exercise to get them quiet like this guy. They're excessive barkers and they like to sass frequently. If you tell them, no, you can't have these treats or no, I don't wanna do that, they sass back to you and they get loud and they keep getting louder and louder. The more you tell them no, no more, they don't like hearing no and they don't like it when you tell them no, so they will sass. They're not guard dogs because they like slobbering all over their visitors and their guests and they run up to the visitors and guests and they ask them, give me treats, I want treats, I really like treats. Do you wanna pet me? Do you wanna play with me? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, there's a new visitor here. Oh boy, what are you gonna do? Oh boy, oh boy. And they just go crazy over the visitors and guests. So if a stranger comes into your house, your Sammy Ed will slobber them with kisses. If you do decide that a Sammy Ed is a good fit for you, be sure to study breeders. I found Yeti by going to the Sammy Ed Club of America.org and looking for breeders near me. And I happen to have found a wonderful breeder who has been breeding Sammies for decades. And if you live outside of the United States, you can also Google search for Sammy Ed breeders near you and you can Google search organizations that have Sammy Eds. So you can meet Sammy Ed breeders one-on-one. -on -one. You can spend time with them, getting to know them and their dogs. You should always set up a time to meet with a breeder, interview the breeder and have the breeder interview you to make sure that you would be a good fit for one of their dogs. Now these dogs are very demanding. They require an owner with a lot of endurance, a lot of willpower, and a special love for all things white and fuzzy because their fur gets everywhere. I have found Yeti fur in my cereal bowls. I find it on my toothpaste, inside the toothpaste tube. I don't know how it gets in there, but it gets in there. You also want to make a face-to-face -face appointment with the breeder to see how their dogs are bred and find out about their living conditions because you don't want to get a, a dog from a breeder who has a bad living condition for a dog and who has too many dogs. Now you'll have to groom your Sammy Ed a lot and you'll have to deal with a lot of excess fur coming off of them. They shed 365 days a year. On leap years, they shed 366 days a year. And it's epic shedding all the time. Like I have no idea how Yeti sheds so much because he still has a ton of fur left on him. But Sammy Ed's, they shed all the time and it's always excessive amounts of fur. So be sure to have plenty of lint brushes laying around. Be sure to have a really good vacuum cleaner. Wood floors are preferable. You'll have to become a good dog groomer. Yeti requires a lot of dog grooming and we use a few different multiple types of brushes. If you want a quiet dog, a Sammy Ed is not going to be a good fit for you. They are not meant to live away from their people. So be sure that you bring them on every single activity that you go on. They are a member of your family and they should be treated as such. Yeah, I'm putting all these treats in here for you, sweetie. Now this little skull has a hole for treats, so I've been sticking some treats in here. Of course, when I dump it upside down, treats fall out, which is a good thing, because Yeti will like that. If you're looking for an outside dog, a Sammy Ed will not be a good fit. If they're left outside away from their people, they will bark, they will dig, they will become destructive dogs, and your neighbors will get very upset with you. Sammy Eds are meant to be inside with their people and they're meant to hang out with people a lot before you get a puppy a sammy ed puppy puppy proof your house move everything up that you don't want your puppy to eat like your shoes cords plants should be kept up everything that a, a puppy will eat they will eat it get those electrical outlet protectors they are those tabs that you put inside an electrical outlet so that it's it's flat it's flush against the wall so your dog won't be able to stick his wet nose in there and his little wet tongue and get electrocuted. Puppy proof your house by moving all cleaning supplies up and away, by moving all cords up and away, plants up and away. Get the idea, everything should be kept up and away from your Sammy Ed. Buy a crate, a crate that your Sammy Ed puppy will grow into. Sammy Eds grow fast and very quickly and they get to be big dogs by different toys. Yeti and I have a subscription to Bully Make box and you can also get a subscription to Bully Make 
if you click our link down below. Bully Make comes with three different bags of dog treats that Yeti goes crazy over and two toys. Uh, the toy for this month is a bat toy because it's October, so we have Halloween coming up, and a skull toy. It's called a zombie toy. But these toys will keep your dog occupied. Additionally, the toys are really strong, durable material, so your dog won't be able to destroy them. And then they also have the treats that Yeti just goes crazy over. Get a leash and a harness. I say a harness because if you ha have your dog around a if you have your leash around a collar, your Sammy Ed is going to play Houdini and will squirm out of that collar. They need excessive daily walks, being gone for about 20 minutes, half hour at a time, multiple times a day. Yeti walks about three to four miles a day every day. On the weekends, he puts in about five miles with his human people. If you're ready for all of that, a Sammy Ed would be a great fit for you. If you want more great ideas, tips and tricks for owning a Sammy Ed, be sure to check out our other videos. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. When you do, you'll help me feed Yeti more treats. We'll see you next time.